In this video, we're going to go through the article titled Querying MySQL Data Using Experience Manager 6.4 Data Source Pool. So first thing we want to look at is the actual MySQL data source that we're going to be using in this article. Here we can see we have a table titled Employee, and it's got various fields, employee ID, address, age, job, name, salary, start, and status. What we're going to do is... Um, write a AM component that's going to be able to display this data and then have all the data pulled in from my SQL and then displayed in an AM page. What we're looking at here is our JDBC connection pool configuration screen. So right here we can see we've um, for the JDBC driver class field we've com mysql JDBC driver. Here's the JDBC connection URI that's pointing to our data source so notice here at the end test, that's lining up with our schema that's defined here. And then notice that our employee table is under the schema. We uh, have username and password root. And then finally, the data source name is employee. And this is referenced in the Java code. So now we're looking at our Java code that's from the article. So here, notice that we're in get connection method. So we can see that we have. Um, data source on line 118 right here and we're referencing employee this of course is lining up to the configuration that we set in the um, JDC configuration page and this is going to return the connection that's going to allow us to invoke um, going back to here that's opening up a connection to the database and then we're able to um, use some SQL um, statement here in a prepared statement and then query the data from the database and then return it to the client. Looking at the OSGI bundle view, there's two OSGI bundles that we have. The first one here is our code. That's um, the OSGI containing the Java logic. And then this one here, MySQL, is the um, JDBC connection driver file. And we need this um, within an OSGI bundle and deploy to AM and in active state in order to invoke um, a relational database. If you don't have this driver file, it's not going to work. So now we're looking at the uh, example that we've created in the article. So here is um, our data tables component. So when we click um, get employees, it's going to invoke a servlet that's going to invoke the service. It's going to query the data and then return it and then display it in this grid view. So let's click um, get table or get employees. So here's our data. So it shows that the connection to the database was successful. It's querying the data and then it's returning um, it in this view. And then the um, Ajax call is using some JavaScript logic to write out to the data source table. All, of course, is in the article. So thank you for watching this video on how to write a AM component that's able to invoke a relational database, query the data, and then display to an AM web page.